Hello there, Internet version 2 here with Let's Watch Danganronpa 3, The End of Hope's Peak High School, Episode 14, Despair Arc Number 7. Where we last left off, nothing at all fucking happened, so hopefully some shit happens in this episode. Otherwise, I will fall the fuck asleep, because I'm recording this back to back. Um, so we last left off in despair with uh, Junko actually showing up to the school, meeting Azuru, um, her actually explaining why she's super into despair and why she likes it and actually referencing Danganronpa Zero in a pretty heavy regard because her analytical powers are not mentioned like her being super high school level and like analysis is not mentioned outside of Zero and it's a it's her whole reasoning for being like just like girl hard so much for despair it's amazing how, like, important Zero was to that. Speaking of, we've got to see Ryuko soon, right? Like, <laughs> like it's got to be happening soon. Um, and Azuru. It also explains why Azuru's willing to, like, help Junko. Because it's just like, yeah, despair is less predictable than hope. Despite the fact that... Whenever Junko makes a plan for despair, it works. And then she accounts for hope happening in it. And then... She doesn't predict what Hope's going to do. But every single time she does something with despair, she predicts it perfectly accurately. <laughs> so, no, I think she's wrong about that. It's, it makes you wonder, is this like, was she just wrong? Or is she using her boredom with her analytical powers to, to like, as an excuse for why she likes despair and she still just inherently loves despair? I mean, her, like, her boredom is a big part of her character. She constantly gets bored and, like, mentions it frequently. That's why she changes so frequently. And it's also the explanation of why she's into despair. It's just, you know, she's wrong all the time about it. So, uh, we'll continue from there, uh, with Junko appearing. Again, hopefully in this episode 7, some shit will actually fucking happen. So, as per usual, there is a link in the description. Again, I'm too lazy to come up with a new ones. Uh, there's a link in the description to this episode on Crunchyroll. You can click that, we go there, and then we're gonna go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Click go, I click go, we watch it together. There's a timer in the bottom right corner when it pops up with the, um, like, amazing artwork that I've stolen somewhere online and that I attribute to whoever it does. If I can find it, the only time that I can find it is on like a Ultra Wallpapers HD website where like, and I had to Google search for it and I'm just like, that's the only place that has that picture and there's no attributed artist that I, um, I don't. But if I can find it somewhere, then I usually do it. That's why I'm trying to find as many as I can on DeviantArt because, you know, the artist is always going to be right fucking there saying it. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. Um, also, the Ibuki ones are way harder to find than Kyoko. I mean, Kyoko's basically the second main character of the first game. And Ibuki dies in chapter, uh, episode, uh, like, case three, chapter three, whatever it's called, in Danganronpa 2. So I, like, I get it. I get it. But it's annoying. But it's annoying. <laughs> That's my point. So anyway, without further ado, let us watch some Danganronpa together, shall we? Where some shit will hopefully happen. Hopefully. Five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> If nothing happens by the end of this, I'm gonna throw something at a wall. <laughs> <clears throat> That's the name, Ryota Matarai. Oh, we're kicking exactly there. The power of anime. You are the most anime, Junko. I mean, it's Japan, that is possibly accurate? I don't know. Jesus Christ, Junko. The old man's house, the pizza. Is this reference to other things? Mitara, you got two girls in your, in your room. Yeah, like... If you were one of the gross characters, this would be like a thing you'd be talking up. <laughs> you did watch anime! Junko, no! This is her personal opinion. <laughs> 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 
You right there? How powerful is your anime, dude? Jesus. I mean, I know you're working yourself to death over it, but you're really fucking good. That is a Danganronpa logo, basically. Straight up. It's brainwashing! You're brainwashing people! That's your anime power? Okay, calm down. Don't talk about manipulating people and then show us T and hey, come on. You're more fucked up than I gave you credit for. Your your anime is literally brainwashing people. Jesus Christ. And she's still alive, but... Matara, you're more fucked up than I gave you credit for. You're putting all this work into your drawing your anime, but you're drawing an anime where you literally want to brainwash people into liking it. What the fuck, dude? I thought you just wanted to make it really good. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. I appreciate that we're getting JoJo level colorization of just fuck with the color scheme in this and trying out with the characters. Look at this eight scar. I didn't notice any changes in the future one, but yeah, this is very, very different. Now the question will be, will it get more fucked up as we go along? Or is it... Oh! Hajime is disappearing. He's straight up disappearing. And like, that looks like she's a weird Azuru hair coming out of her. It's notable that the only time that Chiaki shows up in this is on her own. Like, she's not there with the other people who become remnants. Again, we know what has to happen to Chiaki by the end of this, because she's not there in Danganronpa 2. <laughs> but still. Is that someone menacing... Was one of the students the bear, or... Is someone just bad at voicing the bear? Grizzner. Her middle name's Angel? Why is her bear in the classroom? <laughs> Deadly Nightshade. Oh! <laughs> he didn't blow himself up with the building, so. Is he ever gonna actually come back? I mean, because his path to becoming a remnant of despair is very, very different. Oh, you're about to fight Geb, aren't you? How many people did you kill in a car in, in a plane crash? Nuggets are. Because Verosa keeps going to die. Soda, no! Papinski, no! Sex Pest, no! No! Someone kill him! Someone kill him already! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Take off both of their hands! The My Hero I knew from Danganronpa 2 would be excited that he had these hand bitten off. Do 
Mitara straight up disappeared. He's straight up been kidnapped. All this stuff was smashed by baseball bat. Oh, this isn't going to go well for you. <laughs> well, we know what she did with a bunch of other people who saw something they weren't meant to in Zero. Holy fuck! That's a lot. That's beyond just the steering committee. There's only four of them. The trustees are the steering committee, right? It's amazing how important Zero was to this arc. <laughs> I mean, they take place at roughly the same time, so it makes sense, but still. It's for me to cut, I'll do anything. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't, but okay. Anime. Just shit loads of Red Bull. So this is why you're going along with it? Directly from the trustees. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Tied up with a mouse. Why the spread leg still? And the bondage around her boobs. <laughs> That's all she cares about. That smile again. Oh, she's got the mushroom personality at the moment. Nope, there they go. That is not how eyes work. That's what she's doing? She's just moving her eyes? That's how she uses her talent? By moving her eyes, Wibbly? What is happening? It's weird that Joker just lets her be there. Hello again. This is meeting up again. Multiple dead people!
What torture device or chamber or whatever this is. <laughs> oh, the old school. It's the old school. She's been setting it up in here. Oh, well, yeah, okay, no, the old school. No, the old school. The old school. Right, yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course. Right, yes, this happens. Something is indeed going to happen in this episode. This is the first thing that happens here. Jesus Christ! Well, we know that it's not Azuri who kills all of them! Weapons. What that chainsaw say? Freddy something. One of you's already dead. Look at this cast of characters I didn't get there in game. <laughs> Who's the first one? Give me wings. Like the Red Bull. Was her, yep. You sent this lot into despair extremely quickly. <laughs> She's still singing. <laughs>
You didn't even let them kill each other. He's just watching the entire time. He's not doing any of it. Is this Sushan? Is this Sushan? Jason Freddy. Is that just what that says? I mean, he did fight off the ultimate soldier. Oh! I guess you're not so, Sean. With his face cut in half, he still got that off. One thing I'll say, I thought in Zero... Because in Zero, Ryuko was watching a video of this happening. The deaths that we read about and how people were killed in there did not seem to match up with there. I thought someone was killed with a folding chair or something at some point. I may be remembering that wrong. I mean, we know someone survived to this. Soshin. Masamune. I think his last name was Masamune. Or something like that. Something extremely fucked up has happened. Tengen, you're heartless. I mean, you all are, but... An entire school of kids killed each other. Well, entire class, I should say. Take the bottle and skull it. <laughs> Take care of her, but you are not dating her. Okay. Oh, that was the credits. We are not done the episode. Okay. No, we're still gone. We're getting a lot of post credits, like scenes, still in this ser in in this one.
It's not how you press a button. So this is going to the reserve course. This is how they all know. I like how this, like, when you solve a case at the end of one of the chapters, or one of the class trials. Yeah, this would piss them off a lot. No fucking wonder. I mean, not enough to maybe kill themselves, but that's, you know, further thing. The parade. Fuck this place. And so it begins. <laughs> And so it fucking begins. Has she disappeared too? Has she been taken in too? Yeah, not fucking wrong about that. Well, I mean, for the time being, you're not wrong about it being the biggest, most atrocious incident in Hope Speak High School's history. Shit happens. A lot of shit happens. Um, wow, having an entire class um, classroom full of kids murder each other while <laughs> Mukuro sings song. Um, yeah, though that was fucked up. Like they they went for it. Like it wasn't just kill them. Oh, they're dead. It was just like they showed all of them like twinging in pain and panic and most importantly despair as they were all dying. Um, I still feel like that some of those deaths did not match up to what we re because because there's a there's that scene in Zero where Ryuko's in where one of the steering committee members are currently held, the one who missed, who's missing his eye. When she's down there, she's watching the monitors that all the reserve reserve course kids are watching, or at least I'm pretty sure they're reserve course kids. I've got Monokuma helmets on, I think. And I'm pretty sure she watches that and explains that, like, you see one of them, like, kill one with a chair, and one hits in the back with a pipe or something. I don't remember exactly. I seem to recall a chair being involved, but I'm not 100% sure. I thought a chair was involved, but I might be wrong. But I feel like, like, a lot of the deaths there were gunshots and chainsaws and swords through bodies. But the one dude didn't even let the two of them kill each other relatively painlessly like she didn't he didn't even let them do that so it's like no i'm gonna stab a sword through both of you like why like why and, uh, the whole like the whole idea is here's the motives and as she's aware like one person is dead so the stakes are immediately raised to life or death situation and just need the motive just just so one person kills one other person because the moment that you've done that it starts becoming a vicious fight or be killed situation and the more people die the more frantic frazzled and despair induced they all get so the more likely they are to do that to each other and that's why it escalates well and truly beyond that we're like that one girl stabbed the dude with the shotgun right at the beginning and then the people who were killing each other later on had like nothing to do with either like like they weren't trying to stop her they were just fighting each other and then stabbing each other um Like, like, seeing that specifically is something, like, that incident, we saw a room of that incident in Danganronpa 1, and now we actually got to witness what the fuck happened, a lot of people killing each other. So, like, the main thing that I'm thinking of here is Matarai... Like, I don't know, I don't know, because, like, his power is anime, and animating things to brainwash people, and no, Matara is more fucked up than I gave him credit for. Like, it's not just, oh, he wants to make a really good anime, he is willing to brainwash people into liking his anime. Like, that's literally his goal. 
He, his goal was that before he met up with Junko. His, his goal was to brainwash people before that. So the idea is it's like... People become despair-induced by watching his anime, and Junko makes it despair-inducing to do all of that. But what we were told before in Zero, which, again, the deaths of that class seem to be different in Zero, so who the fuck knows how accurate Zero is, but her whole analytical power is only from Zero, and that was mentioned in this episode and the last one, so... I mean, she used her analytical power on the anime. But, um... The way that it's said in Zero is that the Reserve Course, like, is angry because, like, they learn about it through the, like the messaging and emailing and pictures that Junko sends out to everyone about that. But they get brainwashed into going onto the full-on we're willing to kill ourselves thing by watching the video of them kill each other on repeat. At least that's how it's hinted at. So why does she need Mitarai's abilities to brainwash people if that video alone was enough to do it? Or is it just like he animates over that and makes it even more despair inducing on top of that? That's the part that I'm not sure about at this stage. Like, like her ability to bra- to convince people into despair hasn't used anime up to this point, but we've already seen what she has used instead of anime, which is what we just saw just over and over and over and over again, and only that, and also it being real people. Also, the blood in all of those deaths was pink, but in that room in Danganronpa 1, it was the one time in that game where the blood was red, so that is a continuity error right there. Um, so there's that. Um, yeah, like, not much else to say other than that, just, uh, yeah, that was fucked up. That was fucked up. Uh, and now shit is actually happening. Like, but we've got to get to the end of this. Like, I know, like, the whole point of the Despair Rock is how do the Remnants of Despair become the Remnants of Despair. And in the first two episodes, they were such a huge focus. And since then, they haven't been. But they have to re-become a focus at some point. Because... I mean, like, the school shutting down and the... Tra- like, the school shutting down because the tragedy starts happening outside. Because all of the kids killing themselves is what causes the tragedy to kick off worldwide. And the school gets locked down. I don't know if we'll be watching that far into the despair arc. Like, I don't know if we need to go that far in. But we need to at least see the remnants become the remnants. Otherwise, what's the point of this arc? (laughs) So they have to become a focal point again at some stage. We just don't know when is the issue. So, yeah. Like the middle of this, they're not the focus. So, on the next episode, we're jumping back over to the future arc, where hopefully some shit happens. Shit happened in this one, nothing happened in the last future one. So maybe some shit will finally fucking happen in the future arc. So, until then, this is version 2, signing out.